This is Jeremy Lickness with Deep Sky Workflows, and I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Linear Fit script. If you've ever stacked a photo and had it appear like this, this is M17, the Omega Nebula. You can see from looking at it, it's very purple looking. We can tell from the statistics that the blue channel is outweighing the green and the red channels. Now with my screen transfer, I can always unlink the channels and have it automatically compensate, but that doesn't change the underlying image. So what we're going to do is extract the channels. So we separate it into RGB. We take a reference channel and we use that to normalize the other channels. So we basically average them out so that they have the same mean as the other and it brings the channels closer. The linear fit is what does that normalization and then LRGB combination combines them back. I've put this all into a single script under deep sky workflows called auto linear fit. So here you have an option. You can use the weakest channel or the strongest channel. If you uncheck this, it'll do the maximum. You can tell it to create a new instance. I like to do it on the existing instance so it preserves the history. And you can keep the channels afterwards or discard them. We'll go into some of this in a second, but let's just go ahead and run this on the current object. So it's basically extracting the channels. It's now doing the linear fit. And here we have a nice clean image. And if we close the script and refresh our statistics, we can see that the channels are very much in alignment now. Now, another thing we could have done, let me just grab the script again. is we could use the max channel. I'm going to make a copy of this. And then you have some options when you combine. These sliders will basically change the overall lightness of the image. So we can darken it or lighten it. So let's look at if we darken it a little bit, or actually this will lighten it. And then you can manipulate the saturation as well. So let's increase the saturation in this example. And I'm just dragging these down here to make them easier to use. Okay, so we'll close that. So first is using the maximum channel to show you the difference for that. Again, splits the channels out, does the linear fit, then combines the channels back. So you can see a little bit different result. This one is decreasing the lightness. Same process, separate channels. Combine back. And we actually need to restretch this to see the result of that. And then finally with increasing the saturation is this one. And this is how I typically use the scripts is I'll create an icon so I can just drag it onto the image and reset it. And here we've got our saturation increased. You can see very sharp contrast of colors. The only other option that I didn't cover yet is the chrominance noise reduction and that's if you have a noisy image you can have this actually do some noise reduction for you i have it there as an option i don't use it often myself but it's there and that is auto linear fit